Howdy folks and welcome back to Ark Adventures Scorched Earth on Ark Survival Ascended and we are still in the process of doing our train thing but we had a big update there's Choo Choo out there we had our big update uh, came through for Ark and the coolest thing of course is the automatic opening and closing doors that S Plus used to give us and I know that the S Plus developer Ryan Sun apparently either is an employee of Wildcard or did some work for Wildcard on Survival Ascended so that's why there's such cool stuff but I'm glad they added this back in this is so handy Oh, I was getting tired of having to close doors all the time. I love it. Anyway, very cool. So, the Choo Choo's here, and I actually added a car on it. I renamed it Choo Choo. I added a car, and you can, you know, jump to the car, or you can uh, basically use this to go to the engine, and you can actually pick what car you want to go to, which is so cool. I've only got one on here right now, but I'm plan it's a platform, like a platform saddle, so I plan on building some stuff here. But for now... I'm just laying track, trying to get to get as far as I can get. And you notice I've gotten a bit further. I still got this thing where it says I'm overweight. I don't get that at all. Everything seems to be fine. Doesn't matter how much weight there is, it thinks I'm overweight. Anyway. Um, I wonder if you could speed up the choo-choo any. Is there any way to give it like a better fuel? Make it go faster? That would be great. I'm going to keep calling the train choo-choo, don't worry. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm out this far now. And I need to place down pillars, which I was in the process of doing. Um, I haven't even reached the ground yet on this one, but I was placing them down here. I've got a whole bunch now, as you can see. Um, but I'm heading towards our middle, favorite middle spot, which is over there, 1,200 meters away. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to be going straight here, all the way across there if I can bridge it. Uh, looks like I might have some places like there, that piece of rock there where I don't have to bridge down quite as far, pillar down quite as far. Um, but I want to wrap around and go to my middle place. That would be really cool. And then I'll put some stuff on the back of uh, of Choo Choo here uh, to carry a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know how much weight it can pull. Hopefully it's pretty heavy. Or pretty hefty, as it were. Um, yeah, the smoke is kind of annoying sometimes. But because when you're trying to look at it like this, it's like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> um, there was also an update to the uh, cryo storage. The Super cryo storage, which is a very cool update. Um, I haven't tried it yet. Whoops. Whoops. Sorry. It stopped on itself when I was trying to stop it. Um, which I haven't done yet. Whoops. But if I go to an admin terminal as admin, which I think I am right now. I think I logged in as admin. Um, you can see. Yeah, admin settings. You can see when it comes up. And these takes forever to come up for some reason. These, these This interface, but whatever. Um, disable use during storm. If you check this then you can't use the, the balls and the guns during a storm. An electrical storm, I take it. Um, what, one thing we noticed was, and I think I may have commented on a previous uh, video, but we couldn't d deploy our, our dinos when there was an electrical storm. Which is okay, I mean, it's kind of annoying, but you know, I understood. But the uh, mod author has put in a change, so that you can now. I haven't tested it yet, because I haven't had an electrical storm in order to test it. In fact, I should probably ball you up, Arnie. Actually, you up and uh, and test it at some point. Oh, I had stuff. Cool. Um, but I also want to do a couple more things. I'm, of course, building all this track. That's a lot of track, right, that I have to build. And, of course, this stuff needs cementing paste. And I've got a little bit left, but I'm running out. Uh, the rest of the materials are easy enough to get. The metal, although I would like to have... Getting, I'd like to get more metal more easily. So there's a few things I want to do. I'm only down to six there, so I'm running out. Um, I want to, for cementing paste, I want to tame some snails um, and then throw them in the, in the super cryo storage because super cryo storage is great because they will automatically feed the animal, keep them alive, regardless of what food they need, which is amazing because I don't need to make uh, sweet vegetable cakes all the time. Um, and it will produce and capture and collect the materials. So the snails will produce you know, their, their paste, which is cementing paste, uh, and I'll have plenty of it. And I also want to make a grinder. Um, I don't think I have a grinder yet. I want to make a grinder. Grinders are very expensive. So we need to see what it's going to take. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of cementing. I have enough cementing paste because I have 800 over there, so I'll probably focus on that first. Need to get a bunch more crystal, I think, some more oil, although I have an oil pump out there now. Um, polymer's easy. Just go to the desert. Um, and then I have to go collect more metal. So I'm going to do all that so I can make a grinder. But I also want to go tame some snails. Now, do I have any sweet cakes that I picked up in drops? Thought I did. Yeah, I got one. Um, 
I probably want to make more of these because I probably want to tame a bunch of snails. So the sweet cakes are made. Where do they get made again? Do they get made here? Do they get made here? No, they don't get made here. Where do they get made? I have forgotten where sweet cakes get made. In the cooker? Probably. Yes. Maybe. Maybe. Kibble? No. Vegetables? There it is. Um, I need honey. So, <laughs> this is complicated. Uh, I also need uh, some vegetables, so I'm going to have to create a farm. So that's another thing I need to do. I need to make a farm, and I need to go get a beehive. So I got a lot of things on my list for this uh, for this episode, guys. So stay tuned. Here we go. Okay, went out and collected everything. Cooked up a ton of metal. I have enough now for my grinder. That's the first step in my plan for world domination for making a big train, <laughs> a big track. All right, so we get the grinder, and I think I have a perfect place for it. I, I give it some thought. Um, I think over here, I think moving these boxes is going to be kind of key. This is all... These boxes exist for all the grinding stuff I want to do. That's the only reason they exist. I'm just going to throw them over here temporarily. Um, yeah, we'll put them right there. I don't care. This is just all the stuff I want to grind. So not the grinder itself, although that would be really difficult to grind a grinder because I don't have a grinder to grind the grinder. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I want to move a lot of stuff, and I want to put it over here kind of next to the chem bench. I don't know if it will fit, but we're going to find out. Okay, that should do it, I think. Um, boy, I miss the days of the S-plus grinder when you could set it to return 100% of resources. <laughs> not going to be able to do that. So this, I'm going to have to move this light. As I can see, it's too big. Let's kind of place it here-ish. I don't want to really collide too much with that. Actually, now that I think about it, let's, what would that look like if it collided there? Um... Oh, that's not that bad. I don't mind the base colliding here. That doesn't bother me at all. And it looks like the intake or whatever just slightly sticks through that roof. Does it stick through that roof all the way? I'm just curious. I, I kind of don't like it anyway, but... Um, how do I get up? Where's my Where's my door? Is, that, is this the door? No, it's below here. Isn't it? It's, no, it's not below here. Where the heck is it? Where's that door? Hmm, I guess it's on the roof. There is no door. There is no door. There is no door. Where's my ladder? There's my ladder. Okay. It does stick through. You can see it right there. Right there. If it's real clear, but you can see it. So I didn't want it anyway, but I was just kind of curious how much it stuck through. So. Gosh, I love the auto opening doors again. Amazing. So I'm going to have to pull it out a little bit, which means I should probably not try to put it right up against the, the chem bench. Um, I don't need this anymore. I really don't. I'm going to pick that up. Oh, can I just slide the chem bench out a little bit? I probably can. There's stuff in here. That's fine. Slide the chem bench out. Out? I almost sound Canadian there. Sorry about that. Well, I mean, not sorry about that. I mean fine if you're Canadian, but I'm not, so I don't want to, like, take Canadian pronunciation away from the Canadians. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, we are not set to, come on, stop flicking, like, it's, it's the railing, I think, that it doesn't like. There we go. That works. That works great. Okay. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. All right. So I've got a, a few things to grind. I don't really want to grind that. I want to put it where I can use it. So we'll actually put it right here. Turn that on. Um, I don't want to grind that stuff. Okay. Let's just start grinding stuff. Because like I said, I missed this S plus days when you can do 100% return. But you still get, especially when you have a lot of stuff like I've got, you still get pretty good, uh, pretty good return. So we'll just do these boxes and see what we can get from it. Like, for instance, can you grind that? You can. Um, I know you can grind the, the pikes. I'm just kind of grinding like things at the moment. You don't have to. I'm just doing it because 
I want to make sure what I'm getting from them all. I guess I'll do the tools. Anything that's like a, a, a basic, a primitive melee uh, weapon is what I'm looking for. And I think that's all of them. I'm really bad at seeing that kind of stuff. But anyway. Not bad. Not bad. 336 metal. Not bad at all, right? And then the whips and things. Weapons, I guess. Other weapons. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and start doing a bunch of them. Not to the armor. Oh, actually, I'm really glad I'm going to be grinding some desert cloth armor. You know why? Because I really want to make a blueprint, and it requires a lot of silk that I don't have. I'm kind of curious how much I'm going to get from it. Anyway, I'm going to keep grinding everything, basically. Oh, yeah. I should have a lot of stuff when I'm done. Okay, my grinding results are <laughs> a lot of metal. So let's see how many train tracks I could actually make at this point. Just out of curiosity. Uh, another 11. Not bad, but I'm going to need even more. So I'm going to have to go find some more metal as well. I don't need another car. Um, but my next steps, I think, since I did all that, um, is I need to set up a farm and get that stuff growing. But before that, I want to go grab some dung beetles. So let's go get some dung beetles. So yeah, I used the old dino finder to find a couple of dung beetles. I wasn't looking necessarily for the highest levels. Uh, they produce more. Oh, man, I'm really hot. Yeah, that's my problem. That's why I want to use that blueprint. Is because I have I have all uh, heat not resistant, <laughs> you know, heat resistant positive armor on right now. And even with 600, well, that's the wrong person, 600 fortitude, I'm still overheating. So I want I have a nice blueprint for some nice desert gear, uh, at least one piece of it. So I want to try to do that. That dung beetle's down in the wyvern trench. I'm not sure I really want to go down there. I mean, oh, whoa, hello. What's down there? Is it time for wyvern hunting just accidentally? Even though I didn't want to? It's fire down there and poison, I believe. They really want to fly around that nest, though, so I'm not sure. There's one over there, too. Okay, they're not flying around right now. I just want to see what it is. You poison. Ugh. I don't want poison wyverns. I just don't like them. They'll be following me, right? No. Okay. So let's uh, let's find some dung beetles out here. Go for, actually, these two over here is probably better. These two. They're very close. Now, I can tame these guys anywhere because I can pick them up. So... We're going to go somewhere where... Yeah, maybe just on the top of the rocks over here. Make life a lot easier where there's nothing trying to eat me alive. I don't care about RGs nearby. I just want nothing on the ground. I don't see anything on the ground here. Okay. I grab some poop from my terminal. Hey, all right. And you are Pooper 1. And I'm going to go get your buddy Pooper 2 here in a second. So go ahead and throw these guys in. The balls. And I'll just repeat the process. And we'll have a couple of dung beetles. We only need a couple. And the reason I only want two of them is because uh, I don't want an overabundance of of uh, fertilizer. And I'm, But I can control that. Um, I don't think... Yeah, here we go. In the settings for the terminal, I have said I don't want any human or small poop. I just want to collect from my dinos, even inside here. Uh, medium, large, massive. I'm mostly getting medium. In fact, I think I'm only getting medium. I don't have any large dinos yet. And I only want to create a maximum of 30 fertilizers in here. But I want to ensure that six of them per crop plot within range. Ah, I had, my range is too small. I had, done, I had done a show me the range thing before, and it was really tiny. And I'm like, what the heck? Anyway. But over here, poop generation, obviously, and beetles convert poop. So my two beetles will start converting the poop, turning it into fertilizer, and I will only have a maximum of 30 of those, but it will also attempt to put six of them in each plot it finds within range. So what is our range now? There we go. That's better. <laughs> uh, yo, a massive range. Look at that. Wow. Okay. No problem. So we just we have to decide now where... We're going to... Did that hide the range? Notice... The, there we go. There we go. 
I noticed that was a little tricky before. Okay. Um, now where are we going to put our our thing, our, our arm? Should we put it out there on the deck, the train deck, the platform? No. Um, we want to turn this bay window into a farm? Hmm. Hmm. And then make the roof glass as well using actual, you know, greenhouse glass. Greenhouse glass. Did I say that right? I don't know. It sounded kind of weird coming out of my mouth. Or do we want to find some other place for it nearby? Hmm. I think I want to convert one of these areas down here that I don't really use. Let's ensure that I have room. I have the range down there. Let's turn this back on again. And I have the range down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can put it down here. No problem. Oh, yeah. Just barely. So I can convert like this section over here into greenhouse. Oh, I have this greenhouse roof in here. Yeah, let's build that. Also, as I was building some of the greenhouse stuff, it dawned on me. I remember I made my character bald on purpose because they had that hair bug. But they had this major release of arc. I wonder if they finally fixed the hair bug. So let's make a pair of scissors. And I don't know if we'll be able to tell. I don't think we'll be able to tell right away. If this... Oh, they're... So where are my scissors? And of course, they're right here. Um, will it grow out and will it look funky? Oh, I like this. That's great. Their style. Uh, I like the ponytail. I really do. No, no, look. I haven't fixed the bug. What is... Well, you know what? Maybe it's just a display issue right here because it looks like it's offset quite a bit from the head. As you can see, it looks like the hair is just pushed back. Maybe that's just in this display. So let's go ahead and apply that. And um, we'll wait and see. But I shouldn't have any hair yet. Yeah, it hasn't grown. Oh, nope. Okay. Yeah, now I look like some kind of a weird monk. Okay, no, no, no. I haven't fixed the hair issue. That is a shame. That is a real shame. Back to bald. All right, so let's replace our sloped roofs here first. Um, do I want to take these down? I guess just take these down. Actually, make it life easier on me. I'm going to do this. Probably could turn off that range here any day now. <laughs> boom, boom. I'm wondering if the uh, if the western skin will change the look of this out of curiosity. I don't know. But I want any of these down as well. So I want there's six total, three across, three by two, basically is what we're looking for here. There we go. And now, just out of curiosity, does it does. What? Does that still function as greenhouse glass? Oh man, I'm gonna that's gonna be interesting if it does. That would be kind of cool. All right, so what do I need over here? I'm going to need one, two, three regular walls, two sloped walls. Over here, same thing. Three, two. Okay, so six and four. Six and four. And yeah, I know I didn't need to take these walls out. I shouldn't have done that. I will put them back. But I need the... Equivalent glass walls. Is this the one I had turned into? I think this is the one I had turned into a window. There we go. Yeah, nice. Okay. Uh, maybe it was the other one. I don't know. Don't really care. Uh, oh, I had to. Let's reskin all of this. Duh. <laughs> no, I don't want that one to be glass. There we go. Perfect. Okay. But I want to put the equivalent over here. So, are we going to make that? Make, actually, I should have done it when I did it. Make this one the door. It can be double doors. It's fine. <laughs> make them saloon doors. That'll be great. If it, or if it works, if it doesn't lose its glassness, its greenhouse glassness, when I do this. Oh, I didn't, I didn't count on these walls. I'm an idiot. Okay, whatever. I didn't count on those walls, did I? Need to go make more. I am really curious. If 
these will work <laughs> as greenhouse. And then make this back to the, the window like it was. That kind of window. This would be so cool if it works. I don't know if it will. This one goes here. And then I need two up here. Let's tell that to go to be regular or, or sorry, Western stuff. This is so funny. I guess I could make this into glass so I could see in to the greenhouse. That's that's kind of cool. Should I make it all? No. I want to experiment for sure. I was going to make it all the western glass, but I don't want to. I've also realized that I need to get water there, and I don't think my water tanks are within range. I think my last water tank was barely in range to do my water tap, so I went ahead and made a water reservoir, which is one of the new western ones from Bob's, and I think it makes sense to put that out near the train tracks. I don't know if I can get that in range of the other one, though, and make it work, so I'm going to try putting it over here somewhere. And because if it's... Uh, I need it to not be in the wall. That would be nice. Oops, sorry. Uh, it is irrigated. Nice. And it's got water. No, not yet. Zero of 100,000. There we go. It's got tons of water. That's kind of, it makes sense, wouldn't it, to be near the train? I mean, come on. I could raise it up somewhere, but I think just sitting it there is fine. Actually, is it looking good on the... Uh, ooh, it's colliding a little bit, but... Hmm. Is it significant? Oh, it's actually kind of not. It's it's leaning away from the microphone trying to look around it. It's actually not. So, I mean, it's good enough as it is. So it should actually reach over here to the plots. Now, the real test is, this is what it looks like now. And by the way, when this is skinned as regular greenhouse doors, it will not auto-open. But if I skin it as jailhouse doors or any other kind of door, it does. So that's interesting. So anyway, real question is, uh, let me turn on snapping again. Real question is, do I get the greenhouse bonus? Here is the test. Ready? You guys ready for this? You ready? Here we go. Greenhouse effect is zero. Oh no, 300. 300, 300. 300, it's working. Not irrigated though. I mean, I will till it, but it's not irrigated. That's, that's the range on that thing. Oh, oh, hang on. It can't get water from there. It has to get it from a tap. Ugh. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. Uh, what kind of a tap do I want? Let's go ahead and do, do a metal one. We can afford it, right? We got tons of metal. Do a pretty metal one. Of course, it can't get it from a tank. It needs a tap somewhere nearby. Now it... Ah! <laughs> It doesn't have to be super uh, close, but I'm going to go ahead and put it here anyway, just to, for the uh, kind of the realism effect of it, I guess. Trying to get the nozzle to align a little better. Hello. Good enough. Not perfect, but good enough. Not connected to water. Interesting. We need to figure this one out. Okay, what's going on here? So my water... Oh, does it not go down? That's connected to water. Does it not go vertical? But that's actually probably within range, actually, now that I think about it. To reach those things, if it goes vertical. So if we just put a tap there. Make it not animate the water anymore. Is that in range? Not irrigated. Not irrigated. Not irrigated. Not irrigated. Okay, that's not within range. So let's do this test of bringing it down here. We're learning stuff. This is science stuff. Learning stuff about the new art. Um, I kind of want to go here, so I need to take that off for a second. Can it find water down here? Not connected to water. It looks like it doesn't go vertically. The the uh, tank will not distribute vertically, apparently. Let's go look at its range. What is its range? That's a pretty massive range. 
and it implies it will go vertical. So why won't it distribute? Is that a bug? Have we found a bug? Okay, let's do some more science. Let's put the that appear at the same level. It is irrigated. Okay, so the structures don't matter. I don't think. Um, apparently. It is the verticality. That is within the bubble that we showed for the range of that tank, but it will not... Oh, wow. It's not even... It, actually, I don't even have a, a tap down here. The tank itself is watering that thing. Interesting. So it's within range of the tank, but it just won't go vertically. Do I need to replace this with just a steel water tank? Will that fix the problem? Well, let's find out. Okay, steel water tank has been placed down, as you can see. I've turned on its range. And just to double check again, just to triple check, let's put that down here, and we see that it is irrigated. Not a problem. Come down here, you can see all of these plots were in range. And they are irrigated. It is a bug. We have discovered a bug, ladies and gentlemen. A bug in the western water tank. Western water tank does not distribute water vertically. It will not distribute thing to things underneath it, basically. That sucks. All right, got the morel tops out here to collect some more seeds because I didn't have enough for all of the different veggies, but I think I do now. I do. The veggies I care about, at least. So I'm going to go ahead and plant that. We've got enough. Uh, I actually see from fertilizer appearing in the plots. And all we need next is to get some snails, but to do that, we need to get a beehive. Um, so beehive and then snails, and then we're back on the train. But I think that's going to do it for this episode. We're going to have to do the rest of it next time. So <laughs> thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.